All right, today we're doing a uh, viewer's request. This is uh, for Connie. This is a chicken teriyaki recipe, and I am doing the authentic ancient Japanese version. And at the end of this deal, uh, there'll actually be a little Zen Koen to go with it. But uh, first of all, the sauce. It is very simple, which is a cup of soy sauce. That's regular dark soy sauce. We're going to add to that some uh, Japanese uh, rice wine, which is sake. I'm sure you've heard of that before. In fact, if you've ever been at a sushi bar, you know that really loud couple over there in the corner? Uh, they're drinking sake. Okay, so that's a cup of soy and a cup of sake. We're also going to add another rice product here. This is called mirin, and it's a sweet uh, Japanese wine. We're going to put a half a cup of that. And those three ingredients are basically your classic ancient Japanese teriyaki sauce recipe. We're also going to add just a couple things here that's also fairly classic, some brown sugar. All right, some recipes call for white, that's a quarter cup. And a little bit of uh, ginger. Now, you could grate your own, but I already have my nice puree ginger in the tube. So I'm going to squeeze in about a tablespoon. Again, all this is to taste. But I wanted to try the actual authentic Japanese teriyaki sauce. And then some of the very, very old recipes called for a little bit of onion or green onion. So I'm going to put in, I don't know, it's about three scallions that I cut. I'm just using the white parts. I stopped when I got to the green. We're actually going to use that later for a garnish. All right, so add that, and that is your very, very basic classic teriyaki sauce. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put this in a saucepan. We're going to put it on a medium heat, bring it up to a simmer. And I want you to simmer that for about five minutes. And what that's going to do, it's going to basically melt the sugar, uh, bring out a little flavor out of those onions, and uh, just kind of get everything working together. Pour it into a bowl, and you have to let this cool, okay? This has to come down completely to room temperature before you start marinating your chicken. So we're going to put that off to the side. Now the chicken I'm using is going to be chicken thigh. And I'll explain later, because of the teriyaki method and uh, actually what it means, uh, you don't, chicken breasts for me are going to dry out too quick, okay? So I think a boneless, skinless chicken thigh is your best bet. We're going to add half the sauce. We're going to save half the sauce to uh, glaze the chicken and brush that on later. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes. Okay, you could probably go an hour on this, but 30 minutes is what I recommend. I like to do it in a Ziploc bag, just seems a smart way to do it. And then we're going to get our teriyaki going. So take a, uh, you got a half a sheet pan here, you can just use a cookie sheet. All right, you got some heavy duty foil, just a little bit of vegetable oil. And my broiler is under my stove. So I'm not sure if you have an electric oven, it might be on top. Uh, yes, I just felt like laying on my back. So that's my broiler. I take my chicken out of the bag. I'm going to put it on the foil. And we're going to give it five minutes under the broiler to start the teriyaki process. Now. Teriyaki basically is from two words. Teri, which means that shine or that glaze it gets when you cook it, and yaki, which is the actual grilling or broiling. So first I yakied it for five minutes, and I'm going to turn it and I'm going to yaki the other side for five minutes. I apologize now to all Japanese speaking people for butchering your language. Um, and there you go. We got some teri going. See, the teri is the glaze, the yaki is the cooking. So we're going to flip that over back to the first side, and we're going to start painting on our extra teriyaki sauce. So we're going to put some teri on there, and then it goes back under to yaki some more. Now what you're going to do, you're going to keep alternating, like one, two minutes at a time. You're going to paint some of the sauce on, you're going to broil it, you're going to paint some more sauce on, you're going to broil it, just for one, two minutes at a time. So you don't want it to burn, you just want to build up a nice a thick layer of that teriyaki glaze. See that? So that was after about three or four times. I keep tearing. That's the glaze. That's the shiny part. The yaki is the heat, as I keep saying. So you terry, then you yaki. Then you yaki, then you terry. Until you're done. Now, these thighs, boneless, skinless, they didn't take that long. It probably took me about 12, 15 minutes altogether. I probably did about eight different brushings of the glaze on there. And uh, it really does look beautiful when it's done, I have to admit. So there you go. Now what I did is I saved those green parts of the onion and I just slice them really at a real severe angle right across and what you get 
let me go extreme close up is these nice little diamond shaped green onion garnish throw that on top my beautiful decorative plate sort of a banana leaf pattern that is chicken teriyaki in the really really traditional sense um, most of the teriyaki sauces you buy in the store have other ingredients and uh, anyway let's begin the Zen Cohen portion of this program okay some questions there may be no answers to uh, was this worth it should I have made it from scratch I mean should I could I have just bought a a bottle of teriyaki sauce and done the same thing? Uh, should I stay true to the original recipe? Why didn't I put garlic in? Why didn't I put hot pepper in? Should I have added things? Uh, is the chicken a vehicle to taste the sauce? Or is the sauce a vehicle to taste the chicken? And maybe the most important question of all, if I turned off the lights right now, would that chicken still be shiny? Enjoy.